In this video, we're going to talk about how you can incorporate Google Charts in a UX component. Now, the UX component already contains a chart control uh, that is a server-side control, which means that the chart is rendered on the server and then sent down to the client as a bitmap. Uh, on the other hand, Google Charts are all done in JavaScript, so there's no um, uh, callback to the server to actually generate the chart. So let's take a look here at some sample charts that we've uh, generated here using the Google Chart API and then go back and explain how this was done. So we have a div here where we're going to put the chart and if I just click the button you can see that the chart gets rendered, it's got built-in bubble help here and this is all um, done through the Google API. So let's click a different chart here, we have a bubble chart uh, he has a bar chart going horizontally, he has another bar chart, uh, he has an organizational chart, there's an area chart, there's a trend chart, uh, he has a timeline chart, a timeline chart all done in green, and then finally another um, bar chart and line chart uh, all together. So let's go take a look now at how easy it is to actually uh, do something like this in the UX component. So let's go now and create a brand new uh, UX component and um, the first thing that we're going to do is put in a div on the UX component um, which will be the uh, position uh, for the chart. So we'll go now to um, other controls and we'll just choose uh, some static text and now let's go and define a div. So I'll go here and say div ID equals say my chart and then let's go and give a style to this div. So we'll go here and say width 6 inches, height 6 inches and then we'll go here and say also um, border solid one pixel blue and then uh, chart goes here of course we wouldn't really put any text inside the div but it'll just help us uh, see what's going on so now when we uh, render the component we can see there's this is our little div over there where the charts gonna go and now we can put some uh, buttons in to render the chart so let's go here and put in a button and specify that this button is going to call a JavaScript function called say chart1 which we haven't yet defined. So now we need to go and define a JavaScript function called chart1 that's going to render the chart. So let's just go here and say demo charts so we save it and uh, um, now we can go over to the Google API documentation and uh, look at the uh, uh, description of how to do different charts. So let's go for example say to uh, an area chart there, look at the documentation and then say okay that's great let's, uh, let's um, create um, the JavaScript to uh, produce this chart. So we'll just go to their um, uh, sample over here and then we'll just copy the code so we can see here that from there to there is the function that actually does the chart so we'll just copy that to the clipboard and then let's also make a note of the fact that this is loading the core chart library that's important so we'll go back now to our um, code here and we can see that we call this function chart1 so we'll go to JavaScript functions here we'll paste this in and we'll just change this here to chart1 now we haven't specified yet that uh, the core chart library should be loaded so what I'm expecting is when we try to run this code here we might get an error so in fact we do so let's go back now to uh, properties go to properties over there and you can see that in the properties section there's uh, in the JavaScript uh, portion of properties um, which is over here there's a section called Google Visualization Libraries and we know that we're going to need core chart so let's load uh, core chart. Now in addition to checking this uh, box over here to indicate that you want core chart loaded it's also necessary to go to the project properties and specify that the Google um, JS API library should be loaded. So now that I've uh, done that let's go back to our uh, chart now press the button and uh, we can see now that we're getting an error uh, and so let's pause now and pick this up in the next video. 
So we're continuing our video now on using the Google Chart API in the UX component and uh, we're, uh, we've just clicked the button to render the chart and we've got, we got an error over here and the error is telling us that container is not defined. Now recall that when we created this div over here we gave it an ID of, um, uh, let's see what we gave, of my chart but then when we uh, copied the JavaScript from the Google API documentation we didn't go and change the div where the chart is going to be rendered from the default in the Google documentation of chart div to my chart. So basically the, the Google uh, code here is going to put the chart in this div called uh, my chart. So let's go now and see if we've gotten it correct. So there we go. So there's our, our chart over there and you can see that the chart is being rendered when I click the button. But what if I wanted the chart to um, automatically be rendered uh, when the UX component is actually loaded? So if we go back to the Google um, API here, we can see that what they've done in uh, their sample code here is in the script section they've uh, loaded the core chart package which we've taken care of uh, for you automatically uh, in the section over here when you just simply went over to properties and specified which uh, Google visualization libraries you want loaded and uh, there are a number of different ones that you can choose from. So we've already taken care of this for you and then this is the function that we copied uh, uh, to the clipboard but you can see that what they've got here is this additional um, uh, JavaScript command here which is the onload callback and this is the uh, code that fires when the Google library has been loaded. So if we go back to the UX Builder right now and we can see that the JavaScript that we want to actually draw the chart is called uh, Chart1. So if we go to our client side events and we go here and we just filter on Google we can see that there's actually an event called the After Google Visualization event. So this is the event that fires after the Google Visualization library has loaded. So at this point it's safe to call uh, chart one so there we can go go ahead now and call chart one and so there we have it and uh, there's the uh, uh, the chart has been loaded for us automatically uh, when the component is rendered so going back to our um, more extensive demo over here you can see that what we've got is again the similar pattern we've got a this case a freeform container and inside the container there's a div with an ID called visualization We've got a height and a width of 600 by 400 pixels and then we've got a number of different buttons and each button calls a different JavaScript function. So there's a draw visualization and then this button over here is calling draw visualization 2 etc. And then in our JavaScript section over here we've got all of the uh, functions that were just simply copied from the uh, uh, Google API documentation. So there's our draw visualization and the only thing that we did was, rep um, actually we did nothing, it just works as is. So we just copied these functions from the Google API documentation and then let's go back into working preview and click the buttons and we can see that the, uh, the charts render. So the ability to um, render uh, charts in the UX component um, uh, using the Google API uh, documentation is um, extremely powerful and um, obviously um, in a real application the data that you uh, dis display in the chart uh, would need to be uh, created possibly by making an Ajax callback uh, uh, to the server to get the data and then writing your own JavaScript that uh, uh, returns the data and formats the data in the necessary uh, f uh, form that the Google API uh, requires. But you can see that uh, incorporating Google Charts into a uh, Alpha Anywhere UX component is extremely easy. Thanks very much for watching.